What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this video we're going to be editing a video from start to finish in under 10 minutes. So we're going to throw 10 minutes on the clock. All I have set up right now is just my project media. So if you don't even know how to start a new project or what this all is, then maybe check out my intro to Premiere Pro beginner tutorial. So I have a rough idea of what I want this video to be. Starts out somewhere in the day go get a hot dog, uh, meet up a friend, and call it a night. It's kind of like a little mini vlog. And when, usually when you're recording clips in your camera, they come out chronological, so that helps you out. You have a bit of a storyboard, the first clip to the last clip of the day, or whatever your project is. And I also picked out a song to use for the intro and end bits. So the first thing we need to do is actually just create a sequence. One thing you can do is just drag a clip onto the timeline it'll automatically create a new sequence that matches the settings of that clip so if i go to the info tab on the right hand side i can see this is a 30 frames per second 19 by 1920 by 1080 clip and that's what the sequence is going to be and it's going to be named after this clip as well see it pop up but i can always rename it we'll call this a uh, 10 minute video so i next thing i'm going to do is drag this song in there I know I want to use it for the beginning bit and maybe why don't we start out with a little title how about that most videos usually start out with the title so I'm actually going to delete that clip for now and uh, another way that you could create a sequence if you don't want to make it form from your clip is by going to file new sequence and choosing one of these presets but I have a beginner basics to Premiere Pro tutorial if you're super confused on that stuff let's keep it going though because the clock's running uh, this song to me, usually I listen to the songs, you can always double click it and hear it. This song to me is just like a chill intro vibe. There's not too many cuts that are being signified by this, it's not too many fade-ins either. And then the beat comes in, that's where I imagine some footage would come in. So we can kind of get a good look at what it looks like on the timeline and where these cuts happen. So why don't we start out actually to me, I'm envisioning a black background, white title, and then the clip cutting in here and then fading to the speaking clip. So let me go to File, New, and actually they have the Legacy Title tool, but I'm, I'm going to skip that. I'm just going to click this Type tool that they added, this Essential Graphics tool, go to the Program window, and type out the title. Let's just say Somewhere in LA, dot, dot, dot. That's kind of the vibe of this song, what it's giving me, and this font not the best font so I'm going to go to window essential graphics and go to edit click on this and I can choose whatever font I want I can center it so for me let's choose something like Futura I like Futura um, I would spend more time sitting here and choosing the font and finding the right vibe but in this case don't really have all the time in the world I'll make it italic too but you can't really go wrong with a simple title like this. I could add more, but let's just do this. Let's say it fades in. It's a bit long of a title. And this is what editing is. It's constant playing back, envisioning, tweaking, adjusting. All right, so that's way too long, way too long of a pause. I don't like that, it looks too like cheesy. So what I'm gonna do is actually edit the song because it's dragging on too long for me. So I'm actually gonna add my own crossfade there and move it in like this. So I'm making the text start right on that first like piano hit. And then I can cut right into the to the clips works way better. So I'm going to drag this first clip in here. The clip comes with its own audio, but in this case, I'm just going to delete it because I don't want all that car driving noise. I 
I'm wondering if I should cut it on this hit or the other hit, but we're going to do this. We're going to make the text cut out. There we go. And then I'm going to switch on this other section of the music to another similar b-roll shot establishing the setting kind of and then we're going to go right into the main footage uh, establishing the real setting and at this point i'm going to cut into my talking footage and i'm going to actually slice the audio track and extend it a little bit and fade it out so we just kind of get into the action. I'm going to make it a lot quicker. We don't want the music to be dragging too long. Now one thing you could do is keep the music going on in the background so you know instead of just fading it completely I could lower the levels of it in the effects control panel to something like negative 20 and that way it's just be a, like a background music or you could take it out completely that's an uh, that's just kind of like a choice that you'd want to make depending on the preference of the video so this is the this is the point where um i've shot this clip knowing that it was going to be a vlog talking and i messed up a couple times as you can see but we're just going to pretend that i did a good first take uh and all of this was good info to have normally you'd go through you'd cut out different bits that didn't make sense or that you didn't want so let's say all of this let's say all of this in the middle was bad takes I can actually just press Q on the keyboard it'll ripple delete all the way over so we can keep the music track going say I show what I'm up to what I'm doing for the day and where we're going so let's delete that let's make the music fade out totally and uh, here's another clip of me just saying you know, I'm going to check this place out and then I'm meeting my friend later so let's also assume I did a mess up cut it down and then we're changing scenes so what I could do is add uh, a new establishing shot we're changing scenes show so new b-roll showing that we've moved at this point i could add more music and then back into the other shots of me talking let's just say all of these shots i'm actually just going to click hold option sorry hold command that way i select the multiple shots at once let's say all of these were uh, i'm making accidental copies here okay holding command say all of these were good drag those in there you could chop them up as needed but these have the audio of the people working and whatnot so it's kind of good ambient audio to have you could always adjust the entire track volume of these if you want them to be lower and constantly fade the audio in and out then we have another change location so that's this is the end of that scene we're done on this street or whatever you want to call it and trim the end of that clip off and then we have a period where I didn't record too much so this is where you could change songs completely let's say add like a slight pause and then or a title if you want in between and then it goes later in the day we you know it's kind of the sun's going down we we're at this whole new clip you cut this clip up how you like uh, let's say I like it raw so I keep it all in there but I just cut out bits and pieces if you prefer that faster jump cut pace and let's also add this other section of me talking with my buddy Ben here we were actually recording a podcast but again let, let's say you know oh this part was bad or I repeated myself or this was unnecessary information this is this is stuff that you'd go through you'd listen over and over and you'd say what is redundant what does the viewer not need to hear especially if it's for YouTube jump cutting is very popular 
I'd also add probably another piece of music in here that's different than the original or not. I can let the ambient noise carry it. But you see how I transitioned from this section to this section later. It's an interesting way to let them know that time passed. And then I didn't record too much. I just said we're finished wrapping up here and I could just end it with some music. And let's say the end of this musical track. End it with some music. Fade that in. Let's say we would... Ideally, this will be based on how well this final clip wraps it up. You know, what if we're saying bye, whatever. He wasn't actually saying bye, but ideally the, the final clip will wrap it up nicely. And then we could have like an out card, like an outro card or end scene and we could go back to our original title style so add a, add a new title oops make sure this track is highlighted and make this title say something like see you next time thanks for watching or whatever that's that's definitely more YouTube based stuff you know me Finn, whatever you want. This is if you want to say subscribe for more, that's YouTube based stuff. Obviously, you wouldn't put subscribe for more in like a documentary, but I'm gonna do it here. Or thanks for watching. How about that? Everyone can use it. Thanks for watching. But we're at 11 minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. Obviously, this is a bit longer than a normal. I have to narrate what I'm doing, so it kind of doubles my time. If I was just working silently, uh, we probably would have been like nine minutes maybe. But we have this final clip, and obviously this is very quickly done, and all of the work that's done in editing is in the playing it back over and over and over, reviewing it, editing it, cutting what doesn't need to be done, uh, making things tighter, squeezing them together. But you can see that I've laid out the basic skeleton of a project in 10 minutes there, just about from the intro to the basic idea, to the plots, to all the clips and how it transitions, and the outro and whatever we want to do. So obviously, like I said, you guys spend a lot more time reviewing each clip, deciding what needs to stay in, what needs to get cut out. And then even after that, you have more advanced things you can do, like color correcting over top, adding effects and whatnot. Luckily, I have my effect preset pack that I've made, but you can get on my website, justinodishow.com slash shop. That would make that easy if we did want to just add some simple push transitions or something like that or effects. So I could do like a push to the right, A, B, and instead of having to do all that tedious work in the effects panel, it'll just automatically do a push to the right. Cool stuff, but that's enough of that for an advertisement. You can find more about that on my website and on my channel. I think that'll wrap it up for this video. About 10 minutes on the clock, we laid out as much of that skeleton as you saw. Uh, and you can see what it takes to edit. It would take a lot more just review time, and that's the fun of it. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out my channel if you want to see more specific pinpoint stuff that's not on the clock. Uh, subscribe for more. Go follow me on social media at Show. Let me know what you thought of this idea, especially on Instagram. DM me. I always answer those. And I'll see you guys in the next guys, video. Thanks so much for watching.